Hi, it's Chris here from Tech Tablets with the Chewy HI8 here that suffered some damage to the screen. You can see that the touch digitizer here is cracked. So what I've done is opened it up and what you need is four torque screws there on each corner. So you need a T4 torque screw and you can undo those four on the corner and then you just go around with a guitar pick or a similar prying tool to open up the tablet there, pull off the case. There's a couple of interesting things inside the tablet here. The build quality seems quite good here. You'll notice that there is a gap right here that you could put, well, Chewy would put a micro SIM card slot here and the modem would go here. So obviously they might have plans later in the future to release a 3G model. This will probably be the same motherboard as the Chewy VI8, very similar design. You can see the battery there. This is a 4,000 milliamp hour battery. The single speaker, now there was this right here that was on there but I removed three screws there to remove this piece of plastic here to try and have a look at what the touch digitizer is. Now if I have a look here, I will put the actual serial number and the model number of the digitizer, I will put that in the video description. It's not the same as the Chewy VI8 here, it is actually different. And here we can see the antenna that it does actually say on it, GPS and wireless. Now there is a Broadcom chip in there that does say geolocation and GLONASS. So maybe the, the, the actual hardware is there and it looks like the antenna is definitely there for GPS and the wireless there. So maybe it's disabled in the BIOS or there'll be a way to enable that in Android. As far as I could tell in Windows, there was no GPS. I could not get a proper actual lock on or anything like that it was just using my wireless to get the location not from the actual GPS hardware so looking around on the rest of the board here there is no space here there's no header or anything for the HDMI output there's no room for that this is the micro USB port here and you can see that it has two screws on either side which is good because you know you do put a lot of pressure on this port here sometimes when plugging it in and out so that's good to see and the thickness of the wire here insulation all around the battery is good to see so there's no risk of shorter or anything like that uh, it all does depend of course on the quality of the battery cell they're using I know some of the Onda ones exploded there's a forum, forum thread up online of uh, Onda batteries exploding so hopefully that's not the case here that Chewy didn't use batteries that cheap that Onda have used in the past uh, everything else the Intel system on a chip there, the Atom is all under here. I'm not actually going to pull that up, but it's just got a copper-like tape on here and the inside of the plastic as well, just to help with the heat there, to spread the heat around a little bit there. And overall, it doesn't get too hot, this tablet. It's just I need to fix that touch screen now because it's broken. So we have that 2 megapixel camera on the rear and it's not a very good camera at all. Tiny little sensor. Pretty hopeless really for photos, but there it is, and I don't think you could really upgrade that unless you found a 5 megapixel one that had the same kind of plug in there. Maybe you could do that, but honestly I wouldn't bother with that. So you have the microphone down here at the bottom. This is the Realtek wireless or sound chip there, just here. The Broadcom wireless chip I think is under the shielding here. We have shielding all around this. What else do we have on here? So the mono speaker, there is room for the other speaker there. So we've just got the left speakers plugged in at the moment. And you can see here there is a positive and negative there for the other speaker, the right speaker. But of course, there is no actual space here for that speaker to put that in there. So they had no room there, Chewy. Overall, the, for the price of the tablet, I mean, the bolt seems quite good. I mean, it is plastic. There's all plastic on the front of it. And any tablet would have broken from the drop that it suffered. It fell onto a tiled floor and that definitely did all that damage there to the screen because it landed quite hard just on this corner. And the result is that cracked screen there that doesn't work anymore. So I'm going to have to wait for that spare digitizer now because I can't seem to find any online and then later do the repair for this tablet. So that's the internals there of the HI8 from Chewy. Thank you for watching the video and hopefully catch you on my next one.